Hi, I'm Amy Charles. I am 30 years old. I was born 7th of June, 1990, and my mum is Julie, my dad's Billy, and my brother's Billy, and I'm Amy. I was born in Chapel Heath, um, and then I then moved to Brentwood um, when I was about nine. I'm definitely an Essex girl, I think you can see. So, Amy Charles, as a child, I loved beauty. I absolutely loved like painting my nails. Um, I remember getting my first spray tan kit when I was 14. I was addicted to fake tan. My mum's a hairdresser, so her clients used to come to me and I used to do like a pedicure for them. I used to paint their nails green. I was just very shy, I was quite quiet. And um, you know, I just, I was just in my own little world really. I went to a lovely school called East Call Independent School. I was diagnosed with dyslexia when I was four years of age. The teachers, obviously I was at preschool, they, they saw like a, they said that I was very behind. Um, I had like a short memory loss. I was always at like bottom of the class. I didn't get bullied, nothing like that. I had obviously lovely friends, but you know, day to day life at school was very hard for me. I was really, really shy at primary school, and then when I got to secondary, um, I felt like I'd come out of myself. I started to get really confident, I was very good at speaking, I was really good at sports, I was really good at drama. So, sometimes in life you haven't got to be the cleverest, I just had something very different. Um, and I remember my science teacher telling me that when I was 15, I was obviously going for my GCSEs, he said to me, you're going to be famous when you're older. So, Billy and Sam, they was in the primary school with me, Gemma Collins was in my secondary school. So Gemma was 10 years older than me, so I didn't really know her at school, no. But I, what I did hear about Gemma though, she was head girl as well as me. I was actually head girl at Rafael's Independent School. I am really proud of it because to them to choose me, obviously struggling through school, finding school so hard, obviously having dyslexia, like forgetting things, short term memory loss, so getting that, it was a big thing for me. So I left school at 16, I only had two GCSEs. My dream was to have my own salon. Um, I obviously, like I said to you, I love beauty. So mum and dad put me into a lovely college in Brentwood. When I was 17, I was a qualified beauty therapist. So I worked in a salon in Essex. I then was manager when I was 18 at the salon. And then when I was 19, it was like, hello, Tawi. So I was 19, um, I got a call from Kirk, and Kirk said to me, Amy, um, they, they, this is a show about Essex, you know, would you like to do it? Your name's been put forward. So I remember going home and saying to mum and dad, mum, you know, there's a show about Essex. And my mum was a bit like, mm, I don't know. We don't really know anything about it. Um, but do you know what I did? I thought, do you know what? I'm going to bite the bullet. And I remember going for like, some of the meetings, me and Sam Fares, just sitting there. And, you know, there was, I didn't really bring a lot of drama. I just was myself. And, um, and that was it. I remember filming it, literally, I was just, I think I was about a week before I was like turning 20. And I look back now and it's just, it's just such amazing memories. I remember looking, well, I remember going to Lakeside and I literally got mobbed in Lakeside. And also what people thought of us and was that we was actresses, but it was like, no, no, this is us. This is us real life. I remember sitting there at the BAFTAs thinking, what are we doing here? When the in-between has called our names, we were like, Tawi, we was like, is this for real? We are a bunch of guys from Essex that we've got normal jobs. People fell in love with us. They saw it as a guilty pleasure and oh my God, it just was. It was such, it was surreal. It was surreal. I actually did have the BAFTA for two weeks. I think Mark Wright's probably got it now. He's probably got it in his house, of course he has. Um, no, I did have it for two weeks. It was lovely. I think I had loads of selfies with it. Everyone used to come around and go, oh my God, this is the BAFTA. It was just, yeah, everyone got shown it. I think I just, I even think, think I took it to the salon. I think people forget how I was only in it for two series. Tawi was such a big, you know, it was amazing being on it, but I just wanted to do different things. You know, I got asked to do a few other shows, and even though people said to me, you know, you think you're bigger than the show, I never ever said that. I never was. Tawi was always a part of my life, and still obviously is now. It's still quite surreal, really, when people come up to you and say your catchphrases, you know? And I've got to be honest with you, I. I still get spoke about the vajazzle. When I used to have the shop and I had the boutiques, I used to get people down and show their vajazzles to me. I think the BAFTA was definitely the biggest thing for me. You know, Tao, we obviously doing a show together. You know, it's been amazing things. You know, I've met some amazing people. Simon Cowell come up to me and said to me, I absolutely love the show, Amy. You're my favourite character on the show. 
that was a big moment for me. I had, you know, I've launched, the, I had the salon, I had a boutique, I had a clothing line, I bought out Amy Charles rollers out, I had just so many amazing things in my career. I definitely look at me like a businesswoman and I've been really savvy. I don't want to be big headed because I'm not big headed, but I just really am proud of myself. Becoming a mum is amazing, you know. I look back at 10 years ago, the tower times, it was amazing, but now my life is, you know, moved on. I've got two beautiful children. I've got Polly, who's four, and um, she'll be four in April, and I've got my Richie, who's two. So being a mum is amazing. I absolutely love it. You know, it's very hard work, and I know we've had such a hard year this year, but it's been hard work, but being a mum is just unbelievable. Polly, she's definitely a mini me. She's very girly. Um, and all she just says is, you okay, hun? She even goes to school now, and she even goes to teachers. You okay, hun? So it's definitely me. I'm a very, um, look, I'm, I'm Essex. I'm so Essex. I've got probably the most Essex accent on the show. So Polly's definitely going to take after me, definitely. Polly! <laughs> right, don't splash mummy. Oh, uh, shut up. Shut up. Me and my cousin, Harry Durbidge, um, we have got the most amazing relationship. Harry is like my brother. He's a part of my life that I just think my life at Harry, I don't know what it'd be like. I don't know why, I'm just, I just feel like I just get really choked up. Me and Harry growing up, we was always together. Obviously my mum and Harry's my sister. So when Harry come over, we got the Barbies out. We got, you know, I, I even remember when I was 14, he must've been a bit younger and I even got the spray tan machine on him. Harry was my real life Barbie doll. But the thing about me and Harry, we are very close, but we also bicker as well. We do bicker, I, I tell him how it is. I think because we're so close and if you've done something, you know, to, you know, not he never upset me, but if he, I, I do tell him. I think we had like a little bicker for two weeks and I felt really devastated that I didn't talk to him. But after two weeks, we started crying, we cuddled each other. So we've got that relationship, but we're best friends. Tower has always been a place in my heart, you know. So obviously I've had the children and the kids are getting older and I thought, you know what, I'd love to make a little appearance because the show means so much to me. And then obviously speaking to the producers, I thought, you know what, I'd just love to come back. Um, and it's been definitely the best thing for me to do is come back because I, honestly, I love it. I think you get older and wiser. 10 years is a long time. Obviously with me, I was so young, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I had this big red hair. I used to wear so much makeup that I just can't feel like I, even, I could blink because the eyelash was just so big. 10 years on, I've definitely stripped back. Obviously I've got children now, I'm definitely still fun. However, um, yeah, life does go, you know, life goes on and you get older. But I've definitely, definitely stripped back. What does the future hold for Amy Charles? Do you know what? As long as, with me, I'm a bubbly person, as long as I'm happy, my kids are happy, and I'm doing something that I love, just to have an amazing family around me, lovely friends, and that's all I want. Welcome to the Only Ways Essex YouTube channel.